Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The Market and FIBA 22 Ultimate Team just keeps going higher. With Weekend League being over, we still see prices going up on this game. A lot of things rose yesterday, even after the Weekend League ended into Monday, we saw a lot of prices rising. Now, I want to talk about what that means. And again, as we head into this week, start to look at some trends that we're getting to notice and how you can make some coins in the market when it is like this because again you see a lot of prices rising up and it makes you wish that you would have bought cards a day or two or three days ago and be selling right now into this rise and maybe some of you guys are wondering hey should i sell some of these cards that have gone up ten thousand coins or more in the past couple of days with this inflation that is going on if we do see a bit of panic and a bit of prices dropping coming into the end of this week, which I do think that we will see. So I wanna talk about what is happening again on this market right now, why it is up big, and of course, some trading methods that we can use when the market is like this to make some coins. So if you're in the video for today and you're enjoying it, make sure to thumbs up on it, and of course, subscribe if you are new. So let's take a look at a couple things, right? Of course, yesterday on Monday, content-wise, we had the Umtiti SBC and we had the 78 plus upgrade pack return, right? So this Umtiti SBC, just for starters, a lot of people don't like it. They don't think the card is that good. Yes, he got a nice plus 13 pace boost, but I think with all of the pace that we have on center backs this year, uh, 78 pace and specifically 78 sprint speed, just isn't gonna cut it. When you have guys like Lacroix with the 88 pace, you have guys uh, like Kimpembe and Marquinhos over 80 pace themselves. You know, this is only 74,000 coins and it does have a dynamic image and it's got some decent, some interesting links, right? But I still think that a lot of people would even prefer to use Gold Kunde over this uh, Umtiti card. So decent flashback SBC, but uh, I think a lot of people just don't like it because the boost wasn't big enough. Um, and the price is maybe just a little bit too much compared to what everything else is right now on this game. Of course, the 78 plus upgrade pack being out as well. People are going to be doing some of these packs to get ones to watch cards, but that didn't really impact the market yesterday. It didn't impact the market at all. As you can see, the market just rose from the nighttime all day long and is still really high right now heading into Tuesday on this game, right? Let's take a look at a couple players, right? Kempembe, one of the most popular center backs in the game at the moment. Sunday, we had this same trend. He went down to 44, rose to 50, right? Was at 50,000 coins on Sunday night, rose up from that into Monday, hit 57,000 coins. This stuff just keeps going higher, right? Now, of course, what we have learned in the past couple weeks is we take a look at another card here in Sterling. Sterling was 49K, rose to 55 on Sunday. Yesterday on Monday, rose from 52, 53,000 coins all the way up to 59, where he is now. These cards keep going up because there's no new supply on the market, and people got weekend league rewards yesterday. The ones that didn't finish all of their games, right, as we're looking at these graphs, it was Monday early in the morning, right? Or late Sunday night, depending on your time frame. Weekend League ended. People got those rewards, went out, and bought some of these cards. Of course, we don't have promo packs during the week like we do on the weekends, and not as many people are spending FIFA points on those promo packs as they were in that first week. And everybody is right now focused on upgrading their teams, getting rewards, playing games, and you know, progressing their in their foot ultimate team journey, right? That's why you're seeing these cards go up, is because People are upgrading their teams with their rewards and with these coins that they are getting from completing in competitions, competing in competitions in this game, right? This is happening to the high tier, the most meta cards that are on this game. There are plenty of cards right now that are going down in price. They're still having some fluctuations, but they're going down in price just because people are upgrading past them, right? Look at this Vinicius from 8K all the way to 11. He did go up, but a lot of these cards, and maybe a, maybe a better example is uh, somebody on this popular page like Allen, right? His price has just kept going down. Of course, Martial, Gabriel Jesus, these guys are so cheap that people are upgrading on a Martial and a Jesus, and they're upgrading to somebody like a Lukaku, like a Werner. Maybe they're going even higher than that, and you know maybe they're starting to look at the likes of higher tier uh, attackers in this game like Usman Dembele, uh, you know, or maybe a Bruno Fernandez, right? Maybe they're even getting up into upper echelons on like a Sun card, right? People are upgrading to these higher tier and higher level cards, and that's why you're seeing price graphs on the on those higher tier items kind of look like this 
on this game. Now let's talk about the weekly fluctuations that we have seen in the first two weeks of this game, right? The first two full weeks of this game being out. If you look at these graphs, Tuesdays have been the high points, right? And we talked about it last week. We knew it was coming. Wednesday afternoon, a lot of people started to sell their cards off because they get worried about the supply coming in from division rivals rewards that come out early Thursday morning. So right now we're, we're sitting here on Tuesday. And as we look at the index 100, you see that both in the past two weeks, we have hit a market peak on Tuesday. And it looks like we're headed for the same thing heading into this Tuesday, right? So again, I think this is a great opportunity if there's cards in your team. Let's say you're already qualified for this next weekend league. I think between now and tomorrow, you're going to want to probably get some of these gold cards out, especially if they're on the lower tier. You know, these lower tier cards, like lower rated ones like Lacroix, lower rated ones like St. Maximin, right? Stuff that is 80 rated or below. Um, Vinicius, right? Would be 100% a card I would be very careful with at the moment. Uh, cards that are still very popular and meta that are low in rating. I get Lacroix is the, is the number one perfect example. Even Dembele a little bit. Just be careful with these cards because they're going to get supplied later on this week and there's going to be panic selling on them as people expect that supply. So I think you might see today or early into tomorrow and Wednesday as kind of your peak time for a lot of these gold cards on the market. Now you might be wondering, Nate, can I buy these golds tonight on Monday night into Tuesday? Will they rise like they have the past few days? I'm wondering if that rise is going to be less today. There still could be a rise on some cards, but what I would drop... I would watch out for is cards that are dropping tonight. You know, a lot of cards get cheap in the nighttime UK and they start to rise up as we go into the UK daytime into the into the middle of the day from the morning. So if there's any cards you're seeing as this video is dropping in the nighttime or early morning hours that look pretty low, a card that's maybe dropped off a few percent, maybe you look to get involved in some of those items. But I do think that you will start to see, I guess, the quote unquote panic or the quote unquote selling potentially start to happen on a Wednesday as it usually does tomorrow um, on this game. So if there is a time to take the cash, I do think now is really not a bad time on a lot of these gold cards, even some informs, right? We've seen a very, very nice rise on a lot of these out of packs cards, even team of the week three that is going out of packs tomorrow. Foden's 111,000 coins. Sun is 580k after being 515 earlier on Monday morning during that rewards time frame. So you're seeing a lot of these meta informs and other out of packs cards. If we look at team of the week two, inform Barella, 140,000 coins. The man's flying. Inform Benzema's back to 100K. Inform Jesus, 220, 61K for Zakaria. A lot of these cards are continuing just to go up in price. If we look at team of the week one, Vinicius is 300K, Salah, 630. SAR is almost a 50K. So these cards are moving around a lot on the market upwards, again, especially because of their rarity for these out of packs items. So that brings me into what I might want to talk about as you're trying to trade and maybe make some coins this week, maybe in the next day or so, as the market is up, right? As the market is up, people are buying things. You know, sometimes it can get difficult to trade because you're like, man, I didn't make an investment in a gold card that is up a lot you know, I'm not invested in, right? We, we look at the Sterling again, you might be you might be bummed like, man, I wish I would have bought Sterling at 50,000 coins. And, and now, you know, he's 58k on the market. Well, what you can do is these cards that are up a lot in price, especially the out of packs ones, they like to fluctuate a lot in price. Take a look at this Barella card, right? This Nicolo Barella, very popular in form. Some people are saying that this is the Renato Sanchez of FIFA 21, right? This card has been fluctuating on the market. He's been going up. He went between 130 and 140,000 coins yesterday, right? Here you see one at 137. Basically what I'm gonna look for is, especially if I know this card is gaining traction, gaining hype, it is out of packs, it's gonna fluctuate. It's gonna fluctuate as there's people on the game that buy and sell this card as they try it out. You know, they're, they're hearing about how good this card is. We take a look at his graph. A lot of these graphs are going upwards right now, but you can find valleys and peaks inside of these, right? Take a look at Barella, 128,000 coins, rose to 142, right? That was his big morning rise. He went back down to 135, and now he's back up to 140, but he's probably hit a peak in the past hour or so at like 143 or 144,000 coins, because if we go up to about 145 or 144, 
there's only a page of cards here. So it's very, very easy for him to swing 10 to 15K in price within any, div any given day, right? So what I'm gonna do is watch out for these out of packs informs that are popular, right? It all comes down to popularity and rarity, right? Between those two things, this Barella card has both of those. He's an out of packs inform, no more supply, and he's also very rare. So what I'm gonna take a look on here is maybe I can find a Barella on bid or on a snipe tonight, somewhere around 130, 133, maybe 135 at the very max. And then I'm gonna be trying to look to sell this card around 150K, a high 147 maybe. Again, because this card is so rare, the hype is there. And a lot of people are trying these cards out. Again, when you're trading with these fluctuations as well, as we've talked about a lot on these higher market days, make sure you're finding these items with chemistry styles attached. Make sure you're finding them with position changes attached too, because that will give you a couple extra thousand coins per card, right? Is Malia Sars 46,000 coins at the moment? How many pages do we have to 50K? We literally have one page. To 50,000 coins. If I take a look at his graph, let's see if we can learn anything from fluctuations on this Ismail Yassar card, right? 48,000 coins at the moment. We take a look at the hourly. He went from 46, peaked at 48. Uh, today, you know, a 48,000 coin peak. So we have about two and a half K of tax here since we're selling it right around 50 K. So to be completely honest, what I need to find this star card at is like 44 or 45 probably about 44,000 coins and then try to look to sell it at right around 50K, which is probably gonna be possible because you can also get some lazy buyers on cards in this game. At 50K, Ismaili Asar has one, two pages of supply. So right now we've got a 46. Let's say Footbin catches that undercut and says that Ismaili Asar's price is 46K. You're gonna have people to start listing SAR at under 46K because they look to Footbin on how much to list the card for. So, you know, even this 46 might not be a bad buy, but since we're in the dead of night, I'm going to wait for Footbin to catch that price, hopefully. And then, oh, man, I thought that was going to be a 45 or an undercut. It's not. It's at 47. So that's the kind of thing you can look to do when the market is high. You can fluctuation trade these informs that are rare, right? Heroes, icons, and these informs would be the best place to go right now in this game when the market is high like it is at the moment. So, again, with the way that the market looks, with Tuesdays and Wednesdays early kind of being that peak period, if you have gold cards especially in your team, we don't know what's coming later on this Friday. We don't know if a new promo is coming. We don't know if they're gonna put once to watch team one and team two back in packs. It might be a decent time to take the coins on some of these cards if you want to. If they're gold cards, especially like the Lacroix that are lower rated, 100% I'd look into those. Now, I am I still have some ones to watch Griezmann's that I've invested in. I bought him right around here at 115,000 coins. He is up 30K in just a couple days. He rose from 130K yesterday up into the 140s. I, you know, if this, if this hits 150K, I'm probably going to take my coins on this Griezmann card because again, that's a nice couple day hold and I'm making about 30,000 coins a card almost if he sells at 150 and you know, times three, that's, that's almost a hundred K that I'm making on three Antoine Griezmann. So I'm very, very happy with that. Keep an eye on these ones to watches too. These guys move around in price and they're going to move continuing into the to Wednesday with team of the week with Hakimi potentially being a team of the week. These cards are good to trade with as well because they are out of packs and they have a kind of a live, obviously they're live and upgradable. So they have that hype to them as well. Now let's talk about a couple more things that happened yesterday just to stay on top of the foot market. Sancho, very rare card, 199K. One thing to keep very, very close eye on this week are three ones to watch cards. Memphis Depay, as you can see right here, Sancho, and that Hakimi that we just mentioned. Now, Depay, Sancho, and Hakimi all have Team of the Week hype because people think they're going to be getting a Team of the Week. Yesterday, Netherlands played and Memphis, I think, scored two goals and assisted or something. Uh, it went from 150K up to 190,000 coins. Now, I don't know if EA is going to put three ones to watch players in this next Team of the Week. It is supposed to be a very, very hyped up Team of the Week. We'll probably look at some predictions today on stream on the Twitch live stream, link down below in the description, cheeky plug. And we will look at some maybe tomorrow on the YouTube video. Um, but you know, I doubt that all three get in, right? Sancho, in my opinion, would be like the least likely to get in, but these are the cards that are hyped up for it. So we'll have to keep an eye on what happens with these. They're getting probably gonna continue to rise up in price until Wednesday. Uh, and then especially for Sancho, since he'll be out of packs and Depay as well, we'll wanna keep a close eye on those items um, on a Wednesday to see what happens with them.
Content wise though, coming out later this week, we will have the Bundesliga player of the month, right? Holland, Kimmich, and Kunku, Sane, Wurz, and Gunter are in the voting. And this voting is over for the September player of the month for the Bundesliga. So if it is going to be Holland, if it is going to be Wurz, Sane, whoever it's going to be, keep an eye on some of these cards this week. Uh, we got watch out for a Bundesliga player of the month. We also have voting open now for the September player of the month for League Un. And a lot of people were already starting to think that Ben Yedder was going to be in a League One player of the month contention. And I have bad news. Ben Yedder isn't even in the voting for League One player of the month. We have Fofana. We have um, Lucas Paqueta. And we have Amine Guri. I don't know how to say his name exactly, but uh, that is the voting for League One Player of the Month. So again, people were talking about a Player of the Month, Ben Yedder. That is definitely not happening now that the voting for September is out and it's between these three players. Also, don't expect an Mbappe Player of the Month uh, from August, although he is rumored to be in Team of the Week this week. So that's kind of what I'm expecting in terms of some content this week on this game. SBC wise and you know content wise, it's probably going to be a pretty slow week in my opinion i think it's going to be a slower week we've had our flashback sbc last week we got one on tuesday this week we got it on monday not sure it's going to come out today but of course we have some 78 plus packs in here that people are interested in a couple player of the month sbcs that people are doing or interested in as well uh but usually usually the second week of promos are just a little bit quieter for whatever reason and of course these cards go out of packs on a wednesday so we're, that leaves us again just ready and thinking what is going to be happening after Wednesday on this game when all of this hype kind of dies down and when once to watch is over. What, what is EA going to do, right? What is EA going to do with the content on this game come Wednesday, right? Let's do one of the 78 plus upgrade packs for the boys. And man, I'm so close to actually opening my ones to watch pack. Literally, we've been waiting for almost two weeks to open this ones to watch pack uh, because I want to make sure that all the ones to watch cards are available from it, from it. So after Wednesday, I'll be able to open that. But again, it might be a little bit of a slow week. And if you're trying to make some coins on the market, again, make sure that you get in with those fluctuations and 82 rated chill. Well, I will take that. That's that's OK fodder, right? And 78 plus I'm getting an 82. Nah, man, it's a dupe. Hey, it's a tradable dupe. We move. OK, so. Just again, be careful on the market this week. If you have some players that you want to get out of your team, if you feel like their prices have risen up too much, then you can definitely take the coins there. And if you're trading this week, again, just watch out for those fluctuations. Uh, you know, some of the, the, the rises we've seen in these informs, like the sun inform going up literally like 60, 70K in one day is crazy, right? It is really, really crazy. And then you're going to have that just flip on its head later this week, I think. If we have a loading screen, if we have some more panic for what could be coming at the end of this week. So that's kind of where I feel like the market is. Of course, it's very inflated at the moment on that top tier on a lot of your higher level cards. And if you're making some trades, again, as you can see what I'm doing here, I'm sticking to a lot of the out of pack stuff. I bought some Alja Bears. He has actually gone down in price since I bought him. He's like 120K, but these cards fluctuate a ton. So I'm hoping that he can, you know, bounce back up to in the 130s. And we'll make some profit off of that. Right now, he's about 115, 116. We'll make some money there. But here's the Griezmanns. Got that one for 119, that one for 115, this one for 117. So probably going to look to get out of these at around 150K if we can today on this market. And then I'm looking still through a lot of icon prices for a lot of fluctuations and flips. So that is the state of the market right now. Again, as we see it, very high and inflated, but I think that is going to change as we head later on throughout the week this week. If you enjoyed the video today, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.